Hi, this video is intended for adults over the age of alcohol consumption age. Wherever you're located that it may be different. Please follow the rules and the regulations that are applied to you in your location. Let's get started. Right. I'm going to show you how to make some wine out of a bottle of juice. Let's do it. quarts. One quart, one cup of sugar, quarter teaspoon, one quart, one cup, one quarter teaspoon. It's that easy. So for this, we need to take some out. <coughs> I'm going to use bread yeast. I want to make sure this is 100% juice. If it has any kind of preservatives, it will kill the yeast. So, we need to make a funnel. It's a water bottle, so pretty sterile. You're pouring sugar through here, you want to make sure it's dry. I didn't make that mistake, but I watched somebody do it on the top. Really easy. This main thing you want to keep in mind is the preservatives. So make sure it's 100% juice. You can do the calculations for the sugar, you got to take an effect of sugar in there. Um, Papa's recipe is sweet. Ready? Sugar. We'll pour it. I'll we'll give it a shot. So, there's one and a half.
happens is the yeast eats the sugar and turns into alcohol. Yeast eats sugar and poops alcohol. So, what it does is it ferments, eating the sugar, turns to alcohol. So basically, once you get the sugar in there, you want to stir it up real good, make sure the sugar is nice and It's one kind of a half. And I'll put half a teaspoon. Doesn't have to be exact. The yeast. Put the whole pack in there if you want. But don't need to. So well, let's stir this up first. As the yeast eats the sugar and turns to alcohol, it gives off CO2 gas. So if you leave the lid on all the way, it will expand and bubble out and explode. So uh, professional wine people use an airlock. Airlock lets the gas out and no air back in. Oxygen. When oxygen is let into it, it creates vinegar. So you don't want to, you don't want to open it up. Once you make it, once you make it, you don't want to mess with it. You set it and leave it. Set it and leave it. It's that easy. the yeast in next and then once we do that shoot up we're good I'll drill holes in here because I made my own water percolating airlock has a straw in there and a little hole here straw goes as hot glued in straw goes up into the air through the water up into the air and back into the water so uh, it doesn't get sucked back. But then the CO2 as it exhausts goes in there. There's a little hole in there. And it'll percolate through. I'll drill a little hole and shove it down in there. I made two of them. Papa doesn't do that. I'll show you what he does. I made one already. I didn't film it. And um, when you set it in a closet or something, when it stirs its first fermenting the first three or four days, it'll probably stink a little. But, okay, so put the yeast in. And when it's When the yeast is eating the sugar, you can see the carbonated bubbles come up. Once, after a couple weeks, it's flat, smooth. No bubbles coming up. No little hangers. It's not percolating anymore. So I'm doing a half a teaspoon in this since it was more than a quart. 
once it's done doing that eating fermenting then it's done all this stuff will be residue in the bottom particulates from the apple juice on the bottom from the yeast the yeast eating so um, a lot of people will either filter it out or they slowly pour it out when you pour out alcohol you want to be careful because as you pour the alcohol if you're just dumping it into a big pitcher it ruins the wine um, takes away the alcohol content because it adds oxygen to it so. I learned this all online and reading. I found Papa do it cheap. I'll put a link in the video um, for his. He has just all kinds of recipes. Uh, his main recipe, and he has all kinds of videos, constantly explaining the same thing. It's the same three ingredients: one quart, one cup quarter teaspoon, one quart, one cup, quarter teaspoon, it's that simple. So, there we go. It looked gross for a while. So, I have a perfect drill bit for these lids for my fashion things. So. Let's see if we can do this. I have the hose off to one side, so I put the hose off to one side so I get to slide it down. Do that with the garbage. I'm in trouble. This one, this is the way he does his airlock. You push it and you can see the air is coming out. So you want to be able to burp it. And you push it. And you can feel it, no air is coming out. Uh, and you can watch the lid. It pushes the air out and then seals back. See? You usually want to leave a little more room, but... And then sit it and forget it. it. Takes two to three weeks, it'll be done bubbling, and you'll have wine. And then you can slowly pour it out into a bottle, and drink it out of this. Just don't shake it ever again. Do not shake it ever again. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. Not even when it's done, don't shake it. Go set them in the dark closet. Keep them warm. Let them ferment. I'll see you in three weeks after Thanksgiving. some of the stuff 
I've already racked it once, which means I take it out, um, and I don't just dump it out, I siphon it out into another clean, sanitized bottle, and then I clean the, and sanitize the inside of it, and then put it back in, let it sit, um, probably be the last time I have to do that, um, it'll clear up. It's all pretty clear already. Um, this is the second one. Um, the first batch that I don't think I showed you that I made was the first test one. And it, uh, I think I messed something up when I did it. And um, so uh, researching and learning for like over a month now. It's been almost two months now. Um, I've learned a bunch of things and, um, the, the coolest thing about it is that you don't need a bunch of gear, you don't need a bunch of equipment and, um, ingredients. Uh, the jugs with the juice is no different than the wine that you get, um, other than a lot of those wines have additives to um, suppress the yeast. Nothing kills the yeast, just suppresses it. Doesn't matter what they say. So, it's the same process they use to make wine um, that you get at the store. They put the wine yeast in there, the special yeast, and certain ones will live longer in the alcohol, stay active. Once the alcohol level gets a certain, you know, the bread yeast, it gets up to 12 probably, and then it won't stop it won't start producing more alcohol so that's as strong as it'll get um so and then um let's see um yeah so we uh the first one i think i mixed it wrong and then i found a recipe and a better information and YouTube site this couple um, I'll put a link in their uh, in my description and um, so yeah um, it's pretty easy really um, the juice you get you just want to make sure it's a hundred percent juice with no preservatives no sorbates and whatever those crazy words are um, a lot of juice will have citric acid or some kind of acid in it, which mainly is a color, kind of a preservative, but not really. It doesn't do anything to the yeast. So, um, and then, yeah, so you can get any juice and make that. I started with apple juice because I really like apple juice. Um, I didn't really think about it ahead of time that I was making it into an alcohol. <laughs> And so now I have this half gallon of pretty clear. So now you can see it. There. Try not to spill it. Yeah, anyway, so, um, I don't really like the white wine like this. Um, I tested it out, um, and drank some just to make sure before I share it with anybody. And I didn't get sick, <laughs> so that's cool. Um, I'm sure that first one I made, if I would have drank that, that would have made me sick because... When I opened it up, it smelled like, it was horrid. My nose has been busted so many, you all know. My nose has been busted so many times that I can't smell unless something's on fire. I can tell if it's wood or electrical. That's about it. I can smell this. It smells like fermented apples and alcohol. Lots of alcohol. Um, this one went a little longer, uh, went, went 12 
days before it started not bubbling. Um, when you put the yeast in, you'll see the bubbles up. And what happens is the yeast consumes the sugar and releases alcohol and CO2 gas. The CO2 gas creates the bubbles. Bubbles come up, and that's why we have airlock. And what happens is the gas comes up, goes through the first chamber of water, and pressurizes it until there's enough pressure to go through, and then a bubble goes through the water and comes up and out. And this prevents any oxygen getting back in there, and it also prevents any bugs, because the bugs are the worst. Um, I made my own after that first one with the lid um, I didn't do it right so this one here I took the lid drilled a hole through it these are reusable straws so they're a little smaller and they're hard plastic because they're reusable hot glue drill a hole in the bottom of the pill bottle of the little straw that slides over top of it and then you close it, and you fill it up with water right there, and the air comes up through the small one into the big one and back down into the water and then out. And I put a little pinhole in here. Um, and so, same concept as one of these, because I didn't have one. Now I know, and knowing is half the battle. My wife got those for me. Thank you, dear. She is awesome with all my little adventures. Very supportive. Now, if I had local friends around. Oh, yeah, it's kind of strong. Um, so, you see in the first part, I made two of the bottles. And, um,. I drank one of them, kind of, part of it, and I had cold crashed it early after 10 days because the bubbling kind of stopped early on that one, even though I mixed them the same. So I cold crashed it and racked it off of the lease, is what it's called, that bottom grime, and then uh, put it back in the container and let it sit in uh, a cold refrigerator. Um, my windowsill has been freezing here, so my windowsill works perfect. Um, let it sit there, and uh, yeah, at that point, it's pretty much done. Um, I'm going to get some bottles so I can put it in a bottle and let it sit longer, because uh, it gets better after a month or so. Any longer than that, this um, some of these don't, won't, it's more of a table wine, um, like a sherry. You want to drink it. So, yeah, I don't normally drink. So we're going to make some more wine. Um, the next video we're going to do uh, two bottles of grape. Because I want some dark, dark red wine. So... We'll see you on the next video, and uh, be safe.